everybody, we are back with another review, and today we got our Collector's Swap 2 video. We have our box here from the Collector's Swap, uh, second edition, and uh, we're going to cut it open and see what we got inside. So without further ado, uh, let's hop right into this uh, review. So we're going to open it, I imagine, let's see, I don't see any special instructions. We covered up the addresses, of course, we always do that. Um, just no special instructions, so I'm going to do is I'm going to open it from the bottom. Should I open it from the bottom? Let me see. No, we'll cut. We'll cut right. We're going to cut through the label. So, we'll open it from the top because most people probably want you to open it from the top. So, that's what we will do. And I actually know who got mine. My person was Robert Briggs YouTube. I'm going to leave links down in the description of this video. It's going to be links to everyone's channel who's participating in this. Go check out Robert's video of him opening my box, and you can check out everyone else's videos that are dropping today because uh, everyone's dropping their video the same day. And all of those links are going to be down in the description of this video, and you can go check out what everyone got from this collector swap. And I believe if you're interested in being involved with future swaps, you can contact Mama J and... I'm pretty sure Mama J or Geeky Mama Bear, I'm sure either one will get you to the right, or anyone will get you to the right direction, which is probably gonna be Mama J. So contact her if you're interested in being involved in the next one. And Mama J, thank you very much for putting this on. So let's see who we got here. Oh, I got a, look at this. I got an envelope that says TRG, who am I? And then it says uh, question mark. So let's see. I imagine I opened this. It doesn't say anything else in, about not opening anything else. So let's see what we got here. All right. Let's see what we got here. TRG, I hope you enjoyed the box. I tried to put a variety of items. Thank you. I hope all... Spectre, very nice. Cool, man. Of course, this didn't give it away right here. Um, awesome, dude. This is sick, dude. Look at this Holofoil sticker. And we have another Hollow sticker, Spectre Commander. That is awesome, dude. Sweet. All right, cool. Um, when I saw the name on the label, I was like, I have gotten a box from this household before. Um, so I actually thought I got Mama J. Uh, but no, I got Spectre. That's pretty dope. All right, cool. Let's see what we got in here. I don't think we have to have any type of a um, rhyme or reason. So what we'll do is I'll just pull something out. I'm going to grab, you know what I'll do is I'll put this up like this, and then I'll just grab something out of it. Let's see what we got in here. I feel... There's a bag in here. Nice. Let's see what we got in here. I saw Masters of the Universe. Very sweet, dude. Nice. And it's my size, too. Very, very nice. Fucking dope. That is sweet. Look at that. Nice. Graphic tee. 2x in my size a nice charcoal gray very very nice thanks specter let me grab something else in here i see something else in here right on top let's see what this is we got a power rangers dino megazord and it's a loot crate exclusive very cool let me see uh i can pop it open from this end bust that excalibur check out what we got oh sick it's a mini version of the megazord that is super sick oh that is dope that is very dope. Look at that. It's an actual mini version of the Power Rangers Megazord from the 90s TV show. And he's got the power sword that he holds in his hand, I believe, as well, which is pretty sweet. Look at that. And it's actually got all the Zords on there. And they're very, their likeness is extremely like identical to the show, which is sweet. Dang, that is sick, dude. Very dope on that. Nice. It stands up rather well. I actually have the um, Megazord. Uh, pop so it'd be great to take a picture of these next to each other that is fucking dope right at the 420 mark very cool uh, actually you know what we'll keep that in frame we'll put that over here over by the note how's that and then uh let's see here uh, what else am i grabbing out of here oh nice i actually have one of these these are really cool these little figures they're um what's from a movie uh where is it at they come in the Loot Crate special ones. I have the, I have the Back to the Future one. Um, these are super sick. These little uh, analog. 8-bit analog. That's what it is. 8-bit analog. And this one is the Snow Nuff. Uh, the baddest shave ice in town. 
Honey Coney, which is kind of like a little play off the LJN, which is really sweet because they're actually like little Nintendo cartridges. Um, I saw analog, that's right, they're little analog figures. That is super sick. Yeah, these are dope. I have the Back to the Future one, which is cool. Well, it's not Back to the Future. It's like a, a spoof on Back to the Future. So pretty cool on that. That is dope. I'll put that over here next to the Megazord. What am I grabbing out of here? What is this? Oh, nice. We got an Ace Ventura a Pet Detective. This is a um, business card like play from like the movie when he handed them out. To serve and protect your pets. That is cool. That is very cool. What am I grabbing in here? What is this? Nice. Looks like we got a Power Rangers blind bag. Very cool. Somebody told me I like Power Rangers. It's uh, funny. I was actually just talking today with B Cobb. Uh, well, not today. Today, you guys are watching everyone's video uploads, but the day I'm filming this, I was talking with B Cobb. Very cool about the Power Rangers and how I actually used to have the entire collection uh, during the 90s. Where are we going here? Let's open from this end. So this is a wall tumbler. Oh, sick. It's got... Oh, check this out. Hang on. Check this out. It's got slime in it. And I imagine the weight of the body and everything makes the tumbler slide down the wall. Check this out. Look at that. It's got like... Beep. It's got like slings on it. And I imagine that's what makes it wiggle down the wall. And it's got this like slimed torso as well. Right there, which is super cool. Yeah, it sticks really well. Look at that. And I could see how it, it probably would slide down the down the wall, and it probably, I'm sure, stick like that as well. That is pretty cool. I'm going to try that out later on. Doop. That is neat. It's got, like, um, those classic little uh, those little ball slimes that you get in, like, a quarter machine for its hands and feet and the little torso. That is neat. Beep. I'll slap him right there. What is this that I'm grabbing? I'll pull that out. Oh, sick. We got a world's smallest pickup. This is a, a blind bag from the world's smallest line. Let's pop this open. Let's pop this open. Nice. Somebody was in, somebody's been in talks with, uh, with Spectre or Mom or Jay. One, one, somebody, somebody's letting the cat out the bag for sure. Some of the stuff that I'm into for sure. That's cool. All right. I got the blind bag right here. Normal warning on that. Let's uh, tear this open and check out what we got. Oh, nice. We got a Magic 8-Ball. Very cool. Because I actually have the tie-dye version of this one, which you saw me open in one of my videos, which is really cool that I now have the common one as well. So I have both of them next to each other, which is going to be pretty cool. I'll take a photo out for that. And you can see the reflection of my lights. And let's see if we got here. I guess you got to ask it a question, don't you? Um... Is this toy super awesome? Let's see what we got. Yeah, the Magic 8-Ball is... Um, hmm, not centered, but... Cool nonetheless. This is an awesome pickup right here uh, for the collection for Super Impulse because I definitely have a ton of these toys. Here is the extended catalog right here that they end up dropping with their... Um, look at that. That is... Look at it. This is a ginormous line. And this isn't even all of them now that I'm looking at this because I was checking out um, a newer one that has a... Uh, oh, no, here, to, here we go right here. It has the arcades on it. And it has the uh, the G.I. Joe and the Masters of the Universe ones on it, which is like how insane how this company has grown from uh, just a few small toys that were basically like um, World's Small Silly Putty, some of these smaller games, uh and like this little Care Bears and a few of the, like the Lincoln Logs. I remember that being like one of their first sets that they dropped. Um, this is definitely a cool toy line to collect and I thank you Spectre for getting one that I don't already have in the collection, which is super sweet, dude. And I know it wasn't even something that was planned, but the Magic 8-Ball, nonetheless, and here we go. Outlook good, see, look at that. Is this toy good? Outlook good, see that? That's awesome. Let's see what we got here. What am I grabbing here? Oh. I got something in here that is, I don't know, what is oh sick no way no way all right this is my first pop pin this is awesome check this out you got classic comic thanos right there in the marvel pop pin that is awesome dude wow thank you for this this is awesome first one for sure let's pop it open let's check it out first one first time
That is epic. Look at that. Oh, that is sick. I didn't even notice it was like 3D. The head is, yeah, well, let's pop this open and let's check out what we got. Now, supposedly this is, um, this should fit in a protector, I believe. So it'd be great. I'll put this in a protector and I'll put uh, the note that Spectre sent and his uh, stickers in the protector with him, which is what I like to do with things that people send me. There's the wave right there. You got Iron Man, Thor, and Loki, and then Thanos. That is awesome. All right, let's check this out. Let's see what we got here. I don't wanna mess up the blister pack. It's got like a felt blister pack, which is really cool, the way that it sits in there. Look at that, see, it's got like a nice felt inside right there that holds it. That is sick. Dude, that is epic. <laughs> what is that? No way. It's got a little stand that actually holds the, the pin up if you wanna display it out of box. And check that out, it's got a 3D bevel on the face right there, which is so sick. That is sweet, dude, this is awesome. My first pop pin and I got it from you and it's a Marvel one, which is awesome. Look at that. They got three uh, pin backers on there because of the sheer magnitude of the pin. This is, wow, I think these are better than fig pins. Uh, I actually like the way that this has a built-in stand and I like that it goes inside of the pop protector so you can like display it like a pop as well. So I actually do like these better than the than the fig pins. I'm sure people are going to crucify me in the comments for saying that, but this is super cool how they design this. I know it's kind of like I'm reviewing the box, but I'm also checking this out because this thing is super sick. And yeah, the enamel on this is really smooth. They got a nice gloss coating over it all as well. And you got the nice golden metallic in the gauntlet on the trimmings of his suit. Really sick on that. This is a cool pin. Very cool pin. Very cool. Here, I'm actually just going to let you know what we'll do. We'll actually stand him up over here next to the uh, Ace Ventura card. How about that? Very cool, Spectre. What a cool box so far. I don't even need to open anything else. This is a sick box. But I do feel something else in there. What is this? Oh, sick. We got Norbert from the Angry Beavers. We got a mystery mini. That is awesome. Holy crap, dude. That is so sick. Look at that. We got Norbert Beaver. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome, dude. That's actually a really cool mystery mini because it looks like identical to him in the show, which is awesome. That is so sweet, man. Look at that. Norbert Beaver, he's got his little paddle there on his back and he's got his spines there, different color. That is awesome. Purple nose. That is a toothy beaver. That is so awesome, dude, Spectre. You nailed this, dude. You nailed this, Spectre. You nailed this so hard, dude. And there's other stuff. Oh, nice. We got a He-Man. We got a He-Man Zanini box pin. Check this out. That is super sick. Look at that. He must be watching some of my videos. He knows the. He knows some of the uh, the new recent pickups that I started collecting as the Motu line. So we got Zanini box, a He-Man right there. That is so cool. Yeah, definitely um, been all over the Motu stuff recently. I'm not too sure um, if a lot of people are who watch my channel, but. Um, I know I am for sure. Let me see what else we got. Or yes, looks like we have two pops in here. What is this? We'll pull this one out. I don't know which one this is. No way. Oh, sick. We got the Green Ranger Tommy from the Dragon Zord. No way, dude. That is so cool. We got the Galactic Toys exclusive 25th anniversary. And this is the unmasked Tommy right here. This is so cool, dude. No way. There you go. You got the wave right there. There's Tommy, Jason, Kimberly, Zach, Billy, and Trini. You also got Goldar, Lord Zed, and Rita Repulsa on there. Yeah, so, so definitely somebody's been uh, been talking to Spectre. That's for sure. That's so cool. That is so cool. We got the actual Dinosaur Megazord right there. And then we actually have the Ranger for the Dragon Zord, which is totally cool too. We'll check him out in the box. 2018 pop galactic toys exclusive we got unmasked tommy right here this is sick look at that how sick is that he's got a metallic to him that is super sick you can see the metallic a little bit better on his butt right there and his elbow and the larger sections even his stomach right there can see the metallic even the gold has a nice metallic sheen to it which is super sick look at that there's that ponytail dude that is awesome what dude what specter you nailed it man you nailed it dude look at that unmasked metallic tommy from 
the Dragon Zord Power Rangers from the 90s. The 90s, that's crazy. That is crazy, dude. Does he stand up? Can you see him? Is he in frame? We'll leave him right there. That is super gnarly. Holy moly, dude. That is a cool pop. Again, uh, Galactic Toys exclusive right there, and that's from the 25th anniversary line that they dropped, which is, dude, knocking it out of the park here. Now, it looks like there is... Oh, we got a pop right here in the front. Let me grab that. Sometimes the tripod gets in the way. No way, dude. No way, dude. I have the comment of this, and I definitely needed the Hot Topic exclusive one. No way, dude. This is epic. Here we have... There's something else in the box, too. I, dude, what an amazing box. Spectre, what, dude? This is such an amazing box. Um, I guess I don't actually need my finger to do that. We're going to pop Rogue out the box here. We're going to take her out the pop. Seven bucks pop. Pop shield here. Holy moly, dude. What an amazing box. What, dude? Um, this is in a sick Rogue. This is Rogue in, like, mid-flight, if you would. There she is. She's the... Hot Topic exclusive. She's flying. She's basically doing like liftoff. She's in mid flight right there. There's the wave that she is from. That's the standard pop right there that I actually already have. Wow, dude. Insane. Insane. What a sick box, dude. And then you got Gambit right there. And that's her, her lover. And she's her, she's his share. Holy crap, dude. What? What? This is an awesome box, dude. Awesome box. Catered, catered to the person, that's for sure. Catered to the person, that is for sure. There is a rogue right there. She is mid-flight. Check that out. Wow. Super sick, dude. She is definitely going to be a welcome addition to the collection, for sure. Um, wow. Yeah, mind-blowing. You guys must have talked to somebody. You had to have talked to somebody, for sure, because some of the stuff I didn't even... People don't even know uh, from watching my videos or checking the Instagram. Wow, that is crazy, dude. Definitely one I did not have in the collection. None of this stuff is, which is amazing. Like, that you, you nail it like that. There is something else in here on the bottom. I'm going to pull the whole thing out and move the box off to the side because I have no idea what this is. I think it's books. It, it, it's books books dude you sent me books let me see what we got here this is sick painter's tape true notice of a collector right there i dig it i dig it i dig it no way dude what an amazing box dude we, we haven't even cracked into the books dude let's flip the first one. Oh, sick we got a variant cover right there it is a i'm not actually too sure exactly what this is but we can pop this open and check it out. That's what we're going to do. Because we checked everything else out. Let's check this out as well. Let's see what we got here. Dude. Super sick. So we got the Numidian Chronicles. Conan the Barbarian, Exodus. This is the story. This is that story, Exodus, by Ezad Rybek. Dude, Conan the Barbarian, sick. Look at him on there, side of the van right there. That is sick, it must be some kind of variant cover because it didn't have the actual title on it. Or maybe that's how it is. But check out the art style on this book. This is super sick. Just cracking into it, it almost look, reminds me of Game of Thrones a little bit, but that is super sick right there. Wow. Yeah, definitely sick artwork on this one. So we got a Conan the Barbarian right there. And I believe it is stuck to the painter's tape. Let's slide it back inside of the sheath here that is super sick dude conan definitely cool definitely cool we'll put that out to the side right here let's see what else we got here let me get this painter's tape out of here so it doesn't stick to any more pages nice marvel fanfare number eight this is a comic from 1983, and it looks like we have a Doctor Strange on the front here, which is super cool. And it says, uh, what do we got? Infanto Ostino, very cool. That is his print right there. This is some classic Marvel art right here, which is super cool. 
Let's check this out, because I love looking at the ads in these older comics. These are super neat. Look at that. The Light That Never Was. This is Doctor Strange. So there it is right there. Um, Marvel Comic Group, May. So it's from May 1983, which is super, super cool to look back in time like this. Look at that classic Doctor Strange action right there. That is amazing to see this. Very, very cool. Look at the back cover. It's got some kind of a Lion King, or not Lion King, um, Jungle Book, Jungle Book. There's Mowgli and uh, I guess Jafar, I don't know. Oh, look at Thor. Look at Thor, not Jafar, I wanna, <laughs> Jafar. Um, I forget the tiger's name off the top of my head right now at the moment. Uh, look at Moon Knight, that is so sick. Wow, colored by Christy Steele. There's some Jungle Book action in here, so I'm wondering what, I'm wondering if this is a split issue. Wolf Boy, so there you go. So I guess it's not Jungle Book? Oh, it's got Mowgli, yeah, it says Mowgli in there. So I imagine, oh, adopted from the Jungle Book, there you go, from Rudyard, Rudyard Kipling. Kipling right there, so let's check this out. This is some more Doctor Strange action. Pretty sweet, dude, thank you, sir. Marvel fanfare, that is awesome. From the 80s, 1983, May. That's pretty sweet, dude. What? We got a RoboCop. Some 90s vintage action right here. We got RoboCop number three, which is really low number. Let me see if we can see a, nope, no data on that corner. But we're gonna pop this one open. And Well, I see X-Force, that is super cool. We got Cable on the front, X-Force number one. Rob Leefield right there, we'll check that out in a second. Holy moly, dude, definitely sick. Wow, look at that. You got that reflection inside of the shiny helmet of RoboCop. Let's see what, oh, look at this. Check this out. We got Demon Sword, a Tato Interactive game here for Nintendo. That is really cool to see that ad. 1989, Terrorist Go Nuke. What is this? Super C and then Snake's Revenge ad. That is awesome. So this is from May 1990 here. This issue is from, really cool to see this. Love this 90s artwork. And check out here, we got some ads in here where you could do some mail order comics, which is so sick. Love checking out older books like this. 80s or 90s are so interesting. And to see the stuff that um, they used to advertise back then, like here we got Bionic Commando, which is a sick game. Dude has like a grappling hook on his arm. And you basically have to navigate the whole game by just swinging around on it. That guy kind of reminds me of somebody from... Uh, Goodfellas, I don't know, a little bit. I forget his name. His name, his name escapes me at the moment. But here we go. We got a TSR Dungeons and Dragons. They always had Dungeons and Dragon ads in the comics back then. Oh, that is sick. Look at that. 90s RoboCop action. Oh my goodness, this is so sick. Here we go. We got some more Madeline Order Madness here. Who from Mile High Comics in Denver? They actually recently just closed during the COVID. Uh, their main location off Colorado Boulevard which is, so back then they were off 56. Wow, that's pretty wild. It's pretty wild to see an ad for a place that I actually go buy comics at in here from the 90s or 89, pretty wild. Yeah, this is sick. This is sick. I wanna see if there's gonna be any more ads before we get to the end here. And it looks like we do, we got one for Double Dragon. Look at that, how sick is that? Look at that, we got even Skolnick right there dressed as Venom. That is really cool, dude. Thank you, Spectre. That is a sick, sick book. Do like my comic books. That is really cool to add that to the collection. So here we see a Rob Leefield X-Force number one, which is, wow, dude, what? That is super sick. Uh, Dazzler, I believe. That wild, Wildcat? I, Cable. Don't know the name of this one. Slips me. But Dazzler, I believe. And I believe if we look on the back, there's going to be other characters as well. Um... Check this out. And yes, we're gonna check out we're gonna check out the rest of the stuff, the comics too. We're gonna take those out as well. Let's see what we got here on the back. Nice, nice. Uh Domino, Cannonball, uh War. No, I no, I forget his name escapes me, and so does his. Um, which is well, I got at least half of them, which is pretty cool. Straight out the gate. Maybe it'll tell you right here. Warpath, there you go. And what was his name? Shatterstar. Okay, cool. And then her name was Feral. So pretty cool on that. Boom Boom. 
thought it was Dazzler, but I could be, I guess I was wrong. So you got, yeah, that's pretty cool. That is the X-Force right there. And Cable has been a part or affiliated with a lot of um, X-Men uh, type of groups. He actually was a member of the X-Men. He has a, a yellow and blue suit. Um, there's a Battletoads ad, and uh, that is a sweet ad right there from Troy to West. Man, I love that, that 90s artwork when they did the ads in these comics. It was so superb seeing some of the stuff. There's some more TSR ads, some more role-playing fantasy ads right there. We got, look at that, you can get an X-Force t-shirt in here for how much? Let's see, ten ninety. dollars so for $13.95, you can get yourself a nice t-shirt. This is from 91, is when that expires. So here we go, Palladium Books, Riffs. So it's an advertisement for another comic. I'll check this out. We got Strife. Check that out. How sick is that? Two-page spread uh, of him just peering over the edge down into the city, which is super sick. Self-destruct activated. Wow, this is a super sick comic. <laughs> a very interesting. Very interesting. Oh, there you go. Check that scene out. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that, this is a nice, big, thick book of... of just tons of comic stuff and no ads really, which is great. I really like the fact that this one has lim very limited ads. You open up a comic book nowadays and more than half the comic is ads. It's almost like watching a TV show and like more than half the, the hour that you're watching the show for is commercials. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, here we go. We got a science fiction book club, it looks like, which has some pretty good authors in here. Uh, looking back at this, I mean, you got some really good science fiction authors in there, which is super sweet to see some vintage book ads. Here we go, we got Cable with most of his clothes changed. And there you can see his arm, which is cool. Tom Cassidy. It's time to call in Weapon X. Ooh, ooh, what is this? We got bullpen bulletins right there. And uh, who you got here? You got Stan Lee, Spider-Man, and the Jack Kirby, who is that? Uh, Johnny, whoever Johnny is. It was uh, the Johnny who was dressed up as Venom. Oh, check this out. Deadpool, right there. You got Feral, and actually gives you like a little bit of a, a mock-up about, about them, basically. Here's another ad from Mile High Comics. Shatterstar. There's Bridge. There's Deathlock, an ad for Deathlock comic coming up. And then... Let's see, we got Cable Grams, which is some ads and notes from people. X-Men number one is coming. Look for it this August. There's Beast. That is super sick. Uh, this is super sick. Look, oh, look at that. The Punisher for Game Boy. Look at all that. Black and white action. That is super sick, dude. We got X-Force number one right there. Rob Lee Field special. That is awesome to unbox that. So we actually just recently did a Deadpool versus... Uh, cable, oh, check this out. We got Shatter Shot right there, X Force number one. This is the annual right there, but the part four of that. And then we got X Force number four. Let's check this one out. So, this is third appearance of Deadpool, Spider Man 2 left feet, Bishop 2 right hand. So, this has Bishop in it, which is awesome. Definitely a fan of Bishop, one of my favorite X Men that there is, which is really cool. And what I'll do is I'll keep that open and we'll see if we can find that. It even says right here, a guest starring Spider-Man. So third appearance of Deadpool. Let's check the back out. What do we got here? Dungeons and Dragons ad. Look at that classic fantasy ad right there. Let's see what we got here. So this is Sabotage crossover, and this is part two of the Sabotage crossover. Here is Spider-Man right there. Straight out the gate, you got Warpath, Feral, and Shatterstar. There is the Juggernaut. Look at that. That is a cool page spread right there, a two-page spread for him. That is super sick. Look at this, a Game Genie ad. How gnarly is that? A Game Genie ad of all things. So somewhere in here, there's two left feet on Spider-Man. And then Bishop has two right hands. So haven't seen Bishop yet, but he will be in here soon, I'm sure. 
It looks like we have some kind of a superhero calendar ad. We got domino action. And I'm just kind of skimming through here to see. I don't know why the Joker was in this. That's interesting. Um, still have not seen the two feet on Spider-Man. We have Fleer basketball card ad, which is super cool to see that because that's what a lot of people did in the 90s was collect basketball and sports cards. The Juggernaut is just a menacing figure. Wow, that is pretty crazy to see him. He is intense in this comic, that's for sure. Look at the shading on this, on the face of Cable right there. I mean, that is some pretty sick talent right there to be able to draw like this. I know a lot of people don't like comics or aren't into comics, but I particularly like the art style of the older comics um, a lot. Oh, here we got Deadpool. There is Deadpool's appearance right there. And I imagine two right hands on Bishop. We got Bishop. So let's see here. Here we have some graphic printed t-shirts, some of the graphic novels and storybooks that they dropped at the time right there from the X-Men. Oh, nice. We got Banshee. Oh, she ripped the helmet off the Juggernaut. That is pretty cool. There is Cable right there. Dressed to impress, that is for sure. So I did not get to see the, we'll look, I'll have to look a little, a little harder later, I guess. But there is Bishop right there, which is pretty cool to see that. You got Cannonball. Oh, that is a cool, cool outro to the comic right there. So we got a Cablegram at the end. And then we got, whoa, an ad for Sonic the Hedgehog and Sega Genesis. Look at that. That is awesome. Cool. That is a sick comic. Again, everything in this box has been amazing. And thank you so much, Spectre. I'm going to slide this in there. And what we'll do is we'll kind of do a little recap of everything that we ended up getting. This is a, a larger comic. We're not going to go through that one right now. But this is such an amazing, amazing box. We ended up getting the X-Force Shattershot number one with Shatterstar on the front right there. Uh, this is the annual part four, and we also got number four for the X-Force. This is the Sabotage crossover part two right there, which is also the third appearance of Deadpool. Let me fix that. Third appearance of Deadpool, and Spider-Man had two left feet in this one, and a scene in that. Bishop had two right hands. And then next we got X-Force number one right there. Wow, Rob Lee Field special right there. We got Cable front and center with Feral and Boom Boom or Dazzler uh, right there. We got Robocop number three, the future of law enforcement. Look at that. That is super sick right there. We got Marvel Fanfare number eight right there from the Marvel Comics group with Doctor Strange. And there was a uh, Jungle Book little excerpt in there. And then we have Conan the Barbarian with this variant cover of the side of a van with this really epic painting on it, like a nice 70s style van. That is bitchin' for sure. So let's check out what we got over here. We're gonna let's put the books off to the side. We have a Masters of the Universe Zanini box pin. Check that out, we got He-Man. Next, we got the Pop Pin Thanos from the Marvel Pop Pin line, which is super sick. And check that out, it's got the stand in the back. So we'll stand him up. Again, I love that, how that has that stand like that. We got Norbert Beaver from the Angry Beavers. He is a toothy beaver, that is for sure. Mystery Mini. Next, we got this Wall Slinger from the Power Rangers. And this is a little Goo Slinger. It's got these little sticky paws, which we're going to test that out later. Next, we have Unmasked Metallic Tommy from the Power Rangers. And he is the... Master of the Dragon Zord right there, which is really cool. The Green Ranger, pretty cool on that. And that is the 90s show, the 25th anniversary uh, celebratory wave that they ended up putting together. Next, we got a Ace Ventura Pet Detective plastic card there. It's a souvenir from the movie, so that's exactly what that is. We have a Super Impulse Magic 8-Ball here, which did eventually come around and show us some kind of results on the screen, which is awesome. Next, we have a uh, retro um, 
name escapes me from this one, but uh, definitely sick little pickup there. That little retro guy, the card, I can't, I can't believe I forgot the name of that one. Definitely slipped my mind. But we got the Megazord Dinozord right there, the classic one with the sword, which is going to be a great pick next to my um, Megazord Power Ranger Pop, which is going to be great. Next, we have the Hot Topic exclusive Rogue, and she is flying right there. This is definitely one that I do not have in the collection. I don't have the Tommy one either, but this was one that was on the list to get. That is for sure. So thank you again for sending that over, my dude. And then let me grab the Masters of the Universe t-shirt that we got over here. It was, I believe, the first thing that we pulled out of the box. And we have the Masters of the Universe t-shirt, which has this logo on the front from Eternia, which is pretty cool. Pretty dope. And then we have our note from Spectre with our slaps and our Mama J and Spectre magnet right there. Check that out. And then we have our Spectre Commander slaps. We got both foils of Spectre's stickers, which is awesome. Thank you, sir. And again, dude, thank you so much for this box. I super appreciate the amount of thought that you put into this because that was I mean, dude, you knocked it out of the park, knocked it out of the park. Um, I can only hope that I can go over and check out Robert's page and that I blew him away as much as you blew me away with this box. I mean, very impressive, my dude, very impressive, very thoughtful of you to put this together and all the things that you put in here that are from the fandoms that I particularly am into. So thank you, thank you, and thank you. Uh, again, what an amazing box. Uh, why don't you let me know down in the comments below, what do you think of these collector swaps? Do you like the idea of collectors basically swapping collectibles from their fandoms uh, from the stuff that they already have in their collection and then giving it to other collectors and going back and forth why don't you let me know down in the comments below me i personally i love it it's great i get to send stuff out to other people that they give me a little bit of a bare bones thing like what these are the things that i like you can kind of put together a box for them kind of curtail it or cater it to to their fandoms and uh make them happy which is the main thing of the whole whole thing is what is what's the other person think of the box that you sent them hopefully they're happy with it and that they, they enjoy it and me personally love this box thank you sir and again go check out all the channels that participated in this particular um, collectible swap i know this was a long video but they're all going to be linked down in the description below so why don't you go check them out and go see what they ended up pulling and again i ended up doing a robert Briggs youtube's box so go check out the box that i sent him Again, links are going to be down in the description below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more content like this, subscribe for more. I do reviews every single day, so look out for that. And have a great rest of your day.